Hello and welcome to Geek Talk Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to review Dead Island Riptide. Uh, I personally have not played the game, uh, but I am reading a lot of reviews on it. Um, and I'm going to talk about my experiences with Dead Island. Now, what I can tell from Dead Island Riptide, um, I'm, I don't know if I want to play it. Uh, reading reviews from a lot of people and a lot of other video game review companies, it's being ripped to shreds. Dead Island Riptide is seems to be nothing but a DLC that you're going to pay full price for a full price game. Now, if you do not have the original Dead Island and you get Dead Island Riptide, uh, you start off with a level 15 character. Why? Is it that difficult that you have to be a, le a high level to start the game? When I got a hold of Dead Island, the first Dead Island game, I played it. There was a lot of things that were really buggy. Um, combat was buggy. I mean, dual sh uh, using the analog sticks for combat instead of just holding a button and maybe locking on was a little complex. Uh, that you're you're having to do all these controls just to just to fight. I a lot of first person shooters, even when they have melee attacks, um, you it's only one buttons one button to use. Dead Island tries to be overly complicated with its controls. Also, it's been very, very buggy. Even when I I bought a used copy. And it was the Game of the Year edition. And we're not Game of the Year. Yeah, Game of the Year edition. A lot of things just seemed really buggy, uh, really control issues. The one thing I did like about the first game is the drop-in co-op. But then when you get dropped into co-op and somebody who you can't communicate with is going off on different things, it's kind of hard to stay on task. I really don't like drop-in uh, co-op unless it's with a game that is pretty much self-explanatory. With Dead Island, there has to be a lot of communication. I don't a lot of, when I play co-op. I usually do it with my friends, and we use headsets, or we communicate over Skype. Now, with that, on Dead Island, it would be better if you know you could bring in people that you know to play, so you can communicate and say, hey, let's go do this. But with just drop-in, it's really complicated, especially when someone goes off on their own, and you don't know what they're doing, and you're, you have an objective. The same thing comes with Dead Island Riptide. Um, it's really, really buggy. Um, the only thing they included was one new playable character and the ability to use boats in the game. Uh, Far Cry 3 did that. You could actually kill people with the boats. Now, I'm going to do this as a pass or play, and I'm going to say it's a pass. Um, with me not liking the first Dead Island game, I'm not going to like Dead Island Riptide. Um, it just seems like they they didn't fix a lot of the issues with Dead Island, and hopefully that when they would do this, the Dead the Riptide, they would have fixed it, but they didn't. They it, it's an overly complicated, boring story. Uh, same with Dead Island. The story just got really boring. So I'm like like I said, I'm going to have to give this a pass. So this has been Sean Smith with Geek Talk Reviews. You have a great day, and remember, play games.